Hey everyone, this video is going to be pretty short and sweet. I shouldn't need to go into great detail about why broken links are bad or to convince you to fix them. If you've ever clicked on a broken link, then you know how frustrating it can be, or at least how poorly it reflects on that site. And all it really takes is that one split second of ugh for a user to navigate away from your site. Compared to duplicate content, to clunky navigation or other issues, broken links rate first in annoying site visitors. If one page doesn't work, they'll naturally think that other pages won't work either. Sloppy site, let's get out of here. And if you run any kind of business or e-commerce site, then this is very dangerous and a vital threat to your revenue. Not only will potential customers leave your site at the first sign of trouble, they're also quite likely to tell their friends and family about any negative experience. Hey, I was thinking to buy a shirt on the such and such website. Meh, nah, it's pretty garbage, I wouldn't bother. And there you go, flash judgment, a two second negative review that keeps business away. And all because of a couple of broken links. Not because of prices or the quality of the product. It's a brutal snap judgment world out there with a very short attention span, but hey, what can you do? Those are the cards we've been dealt. So broken links are obviously very bad for user experience and it's bad for SEO, since broken links interrupt the flow of link equity in your site and leave a bad taste in the mouth of search engines. Now real spiders may love to crawl into dark holes and stay there, but search engine spiders don't like these dead ends. Plus, if users are always quick to leave your site, then you'll have a high bounce rate. Search engines, they'll see that high bounce rate and can easily decide that your content isn't worth indexing. Looks like all these people are quick to leave this website that sells shirts, so maybe it's not so relevant for all those people that are searching for shirts. Let's move this lower down in the search results. So always remember that user experience is directly linked to search engine results pages and vice versa. Now, especially for a large website with lots of links and content that is often updated, you should definitely get in the habit of checking for broken links every now and then. But even if you have a small website that you're about to put online and never really alter, still don't neglect to run your site through our broken links checker. So after running my website here on SEO Site Checkup, yeesh, looks like out of 10 links on this page, four of them are broken. That's just downright awful. If I click on each of these, I can see that those URLs don't even exist. All you get is a 404 page. And three of them are links to other pages within my own website. Pretty sloppy stuff here. Now fixing the issue is obviously easy. In this case, it really just looks like I've got some typos here. So all I need to do is edit my HTML and fix those one by one. Now plenty of times it's not going to be your fault. You may very well have a link to a valid website but then at some point, without your knowledge, it's taken down by the owner, or it's having server issues, or the owner hasn't paid their hosting bill, whatever. Totally outside your control. In fact, link rot, as it's known, which is simply the reality of URLs becoming invalid over time as the internet landscape constantly evolves, has proven to be pretty high by some studies. Every seven or so years, you can probably expect to lose about 15 to 25 percent of your links. Obviously here I mean external links, not internal links to pages within your own site. But websites go down, people's interests and business models change, brands change, nothing is forever. Anyway, not your fault, but nevertheless it will be a mark against you as far as the search engines are concerned. And you're not alone in having broken links, so don't be too hard on yourself. Even websites like Apple's have broken links from time to time. But point is, it's very, very, very important to eliminate those links or replace them with links to valid active URLs. Your site visitors will be happier, resulting in more time spent on your site and a lower bounce rate. And then search engines won't drop your page rank for a high bounce rate or for having too many dead ends. And if you want a set it and forget it way to monitor these broken links, you're in luck. SEO Site Checkup has a tool just for that, scanning your pages for broken links on a regular basis. Each week, you'll get a summary of your SEO score and top SEO issues to fix and any broken links you have will be shown here. Feel free to check out our other videos so you can keep fine-tuning and getting the most out of your SEO. And click subscribe to stay updated with new tips and tricks to get you to the top of the search engine results pages.